아. 오, 오케이. Rachel, it's time to eat dinner. I need to solve this problem. I will eat after this. 음. 아. 오케이. Done for today. Rachel, your report card is here. Oh, shit, I messed up this semester. I don't want to sit. Not bad. Mm, nothing. Like, I'll just stay in home. Oh, do you want to go on a trip? Where? I don't know. Somewhere warm with lots of beaches. Uh, yeah, we should go. Where do you want to go? Mm, like... I'm not sure yet. Why don't we think about it and I'll call you back? Okay, see you. Bye. Um, oh, where should we go? Guam? No, not really. Japan? Hey, too close. Hmm, Bali? Maybe. Singapore? Oh, I should think about it. Wait, I need to check my wallet first. Her? Wait. Her? Actually, I'm I major in math major, so I think I'll be really really good tutor for you. And then like, for me, I really really love calculus. Like I love to solve problems and then like play with calculator. So let's be really nice. Yeah. Just today we're gonna learn about the geometry stuff. So in section eight, we calculated the problem with the sliding of the difference integral. In this section. Listen, in this system, we use the same method to calculate the problem of the more complicated reason as well as commencing of the curve. The method is using this stuff. Do you understand? Do you understand? Uh, what? I, I don't know. Okay, so to complete the length of the using integral, um, integrate the toilet into the small pieces of the full and laser applicate. Now, why don't you solve some problem? Do you get it? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's finish up today. I will bring another um, way to solve our these problems. Okay. Today we're going to learn about how to find volume. We're going to use the washer slash this method. How can we find the volume of this bottle? Mm, I don't know. Well, it's simpler than it looks. Imagine that we cut an extremely thin slice of half of the bottle to get a shape like this. Now we can use this 2D shape to find the volume of the bottle. Rotate this shape 360 degrees. It is the volume of the bottle. This is the basic concept. We will now use functions and integrals to find the volume when the area under a curve is rotated 360 degrees. Got it? Yeah, Let's I got start it. with a simple function. 
say you have the function e to the negative x. It's a graph like that. And say you want to find the volume of the region bounded by the curve e to the negative x and the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals 1. The formula for the disk and washer method is pi integral a to b big R squared minus little r squared dx. Big R is the outer radius and little r is the small radius. In this case, the big radius is the function e to the negative x and the little radius is the x-axis which is 0. So for this particular problem you do pi integral 0 to 1 e to the negative x squared minus 0 squared dx. When you simplify this formula you get pi integral 0 to 1 e to the negative 2x dx. When you do the integral, you get pi times negative e to the negative 2x over 2 evaluated from 1 to 0. When you do this, you get pi times negative e to the negative 2 over 2 plus 1 half. When you simplify this, you get pi over 2 times 1 minus e to the negative 2. And that is your answer. Let's take another example involving two functions. So, take for example, y equals x. And y equals x squared. There is an area enclosed by these two functions. What is the volume when this area is rotated around the x-axis? Well, the method is the same as before. First, you have to find the intersection, which is when x equals 1. Now, you use the same formula. Pi integral from a to b big r squared minus little r squared dx in this case the big r is y equals x because it's on the top and so when you plug it into the formula you get pi integral from 1 to 0 x squared minus x squared squared dx pi integral from 0 to 1 x squared minus x to the fourth dx now when you do this integral you get pi times x to the third over 3 minus x to the 5 over 5 evaluated from 1 to 0 then when you plug it in, you get pi times 1 third minus 1 fifth minus 0. And then you get pi times 5 over 15 minus 3 over 15, which equals 2 pi over 15. Easy, right? Let's review. You have two functions and the area enclosed by the functions. You want to find the volume when this area is rotated around the x-axis. You need to use the formula pi integral a to b big R squared minus little r squared dx. a is where the, fun the left side of the area and B is the X value of the right side of the area. The reason why you do big R minus small R is because 
when you do the interval for big R and then subtract it by small r, you are actually subtracting the area enclosed by red, which means that you are left with the area enclosed by blue. Got it? Yay! Yay. Jinyoung, here's your report card. <gasps> Yay! Thank you, Rainter! Remember me? I'm in the, the, the danger. Be no kill. Remember.